Thank you. Hi, I'm Alan. And I'm Tobin. And we're inside the Bright Pearl, our feature restaurant of the day. One of the true culinary gems of Chinatown. And home to an amazing selection of dim sum. Which brings us to today's feature. Earlier today, we had a chance to catch up with Stephen Chan, the manager here at the Bright Pearl, just to find out a little bit about the place. And here's what he had to say. The uh, Bright Pearl traditionally is a uh, Cantonese restaurant. Cantonese food uh, tends to be uh, milder in terms of uh, not as spicy. Uh, there's no curry in there. We don't use a lot of heavy uh, spice. But we concentrate on freshness. At the Bright Pearl, we serve uh, dim sum. Uh, dim sum in Chinese, it means uh, small eats or uh, uh, tiny dumplings. But when you translate straight for it, it's touch the heart. Dim is to touch, sum is heart. Dim sum becomes very popular now because I think people are a lot more health conscious. We prepare our food steam. We have deep fry, of course, and also bake. So a lot of things are, uh, are very lean. I guess the idea is to try a lot of little different dishes. Uh, they come in, uh, in dumpling uh, three or four pieces, so each person you know, can try one or two. This restaurant uh, uh, is also a kind of ambassador of, the, uh, of a, a race, a culture, a theme. I always believe that uh, a restaurant or food is the best way to get into a person's heart. Um, so in a way, we're using Chinese food uh, as a medium that to educate about the Chinese culture and, and why, why we eat a certain way. The traditional way to order dim sum is off one of those carts. They usually consist of food like dumplings, buns, and barbecue dishes. But today, we're going to use our expertise to show you the other lesser known way of ordering dim sum, the golf cart method. Each table comes with a golf cart. And basically what you do is you check off what you'd like, and then you give it to the server. Today, we're going to go with the weirdest things so you don't have to. So what do we got here? Okay, what do you think about uh, steamed chicken feet? Are you sure? Dude, come on. All right. Okay. And how about maybe uh, sticky rice and lotus leaf? Perfect. Okay. Uh, steamed squid with curry sauce? Sounds good. Sure. We've got to try the tripe. Tripe? Yeah, definitely. Let's do that. It's cool. I think we're good. Yeah. If there are three dishes you want to eat in a Chinese dim sum restaurant, I think it would be the ha gao, that's dream dumpling, the shiu mai, which is the pork dumpling, and the uh, rice noodle. Those are trademark dish. That will tell you about the quality of the restaurant. Our chef doing the stream dumpling would have at least 15 years experience. To make the dumpling, it's a very uh, complicated process. Every piece is handmade. We don't have a machine here to wrap those dumplings. The only thing that we, we use machine is to make the, the flowers, to, to make the skin. The trick is you cannot put too much shrimp or too little. Too little the, the, the customer will complain. Too much the, the wrapping is going to break open when you, when you put it together. After the, the shrimp is uh, done, we put it in a basket. Uh, the basket um, is steamed for about 15 minutes in a steamer, uh, and that is ready to serve. In Chinese, we don't really say, let's go eat some dim sum. We say, go yam cha, meaning drink tea. 
One of my favorite is jasmine, which is very mild and light and sweet tea. I think that's getting a little low. We should uh, probably ask for a refill on When the teapot is empty, the way to let the waiter know that, that you need to refilling is to tilt the uh, top sideways uh, instead of waving everybody down. So the order's in, we got our tea, and we're waiting for our food. Why don't you check out this next segment? Catch all of these? Yeah. Oh. What are they? Where are you going? Dogs. Chinatown is the land of sweet deals and good buys, and a lot of people know this. But what a lot of people don't know is that Chinatown is home to one of the Toronto fashion scene's biggest secrets. Today, we're determined to find and get a $4 haircut. Hi there. Um, I'd like a four dollar haircut. Uh, four dollars. Yeah. Um. You guys don't do four dollar haircuts here? No. 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 Four is a little shy. What do you mean shy? Like five dollars, six dollars? Uh, Ranging from fifty to eighty-five. Dollars? Yeah, that that'd be dollars. <sighs> no four dollar haircut then. Duh. Nothing. You got nothing. All right, let's go. Thank you. Good for the winter. Covers my ears. Okay. It's kind of like a hat. <laughs> that way I don't have to spend money on a hat. I don't get it. Please don't move. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Shut up about my neck hair. I'm growing it. Don't cut here? No, you, yeah, you can cut there, I guess. I'll get rid of it. I like it. Amazing. Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. I love it. Beautiful. It puffs out quite a bit. Wow. Yeah. Maybe I should leave it like that. Yeah? No. Okay, thank you for coming. Thank you very much. Lovely. What do you think? Lovely. <laughs> <laughs> now you're laughing. What are you, what's so funny? You don't like your job? <laughs> oh, no. Well, you gotta pay her. I thought you were gonna pay. I, I forgot my wallet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> so, what do, you, what do you think? It's not bad for $4. Yeah, totally. I think it's great. I think I found a new barber. Bargain. $4, you can't go wrong. I don't know. Well, look, I think I see our food coming. Awesome. Sweet. Nice. I'm pretty hungry. Definitely starting with chicken feet first. I can't wait to try those. All right, I'll follow your lead. Yeah? Chicken feet is one of my favorite dish, but it's not very polite to eat it. I'm going to eat it too. Chewy. A little messy. I don't even know if I'm doing this properly. The proper way to eat it is basically you chew the whole four or five fingernails, fingers right into your mouth, and you spit the bones one by one. By one. <laughs> that is not accepted in certain cultures. I guess in a way it, it, it's kind of gross because it does walk in the mud and chicken droppings. So, so it's the thought that, that really throw people off. But then once you try it, I think you'll be hooked. The bones are kind of distracting though. 
I don't know if it's bone or cartilage or whatever. Like, it tastes fantastic. It's just could be toenail. Yeah. Hey, check it out. I found a style. Just pull the bone out. You got a whole hollow cavity here of skin. A little bit of meat and toenail. <laughs> I, I got a nail. I literally got a nail. It's crunching like crazy. <laughs> All right. This is definitely not something you want to bring a first date to do is eat chicken feet. You know? <laughs> It'll be a little awkward. You know? Hey, baby. How you doing? Ah! Oh, skin. Oh, this is the, the meaty pad part of the foot. Yeah. I'm delicious. Fantastic. You're just digging right in there, aren't you? I'm getting the goods. I didn't know if you were saving that for later. All, All right. right. So. I never thought I'd say this. But let's try the tripe. Tripes, uh, steamed tripe is, uh, uh, again, is a very popular uh, Chinese dish. Uh, what is, is a part of the stomach of a cow. Uh, this is kind of interesting. It's like an accordion. Totally. Oh, really? Or grapes. Or grapes. Yeah. Yeah. The dry mop at the end of the car wash. Exactly, yeah, dry mop. We steam it up with a uh, garlic sauce, uh, a very popular dish uh, in the Chinese custom. Mm. It tastes like jellyfish. Well, I don't know if anybody knows what jellyfish tastes like, <laughs> but it does. It's very uh, succulent, it's tasty, it's just, it's just a lot of chewing. Have you ever had an um, elastic band ball at home? You decide to throw in your mouth for a while? This is kind of what it feels like at home. No one's the time I eat silly putty. What do think of this tribe? You like it? On a scale of 1 to 10, I call it chewy. <laughs> Dude, did you even eat any tripe? Man, I didn't hear. I ate all of it, pretty much. Eat some more now. I'm saving room. We got a lot left on the table I'm here. Saving room? You didn't even have any. Did you even have any? I, I ate it all. Roll tape. We got proof. Okay, whatever. Just keeping you honest, making sure you ate tripe. I want to make sure you get the full experience here, okay? So while Alan's filling up on the tripe, I think I'm gonna move on and try the octopus. So this is steamed octopus in a curry sauce. And if you look, we have an actual squid head. All right, and we're just gonna pop that thing in full. Curried squid. Mm. Let's go to shrimp dumplings. Hagao and shumai usually is the trademark of a restaurant. Most Chinese people, when they go to the dim sum restaurant, they'll order hakka shi mai. That's the first thing they do. Marvelous, dude. And I also make it one of the soy sauce. Dump that in there. You gotta quit talking with your mouth full. This is an eating show. Eating with our fingers, talking with our mouth full. Where do we get off? The shrimp dumplings are so good. If you have a fresh hakao and come in nice and hot, uh, it's properly marinated and it tastes just good, then you can rest be assured the rest of the dishes will be good. Um, we sometimes we goof on dishes, but we never can afford to goof on our hagao dishes because that's our trademark. Okay, we're gonna move on. Tara with rice noodles. I'm going rice noodles. kitchen we have a machine, we have a piece of equipment, one person just to make rice noodle all day, but nothing but rice noodle. We, we have a rice noodle that is shrimp, barbecue pork, and beef, and vegetarian. That's a very popular dish. safe to say that this is one that you never eat with your hands. Why is that? It's a little sloppy. You know, it's hard enough to eat with chopsticks. <laughs> All right, well, before we go on, I just want to make reference to uh, how easy it is to use the chopsticks here. You know, we're making an effort and there's really no problem at all, but you've also notice we've got different 
stance on the sticks. Yeah, I mean, my style is um, obviously the more classical style of chopstick holding. You got more of a freestyle, new school kind of uh, grip going on. I'm just pointing. I'm just pointing. I'm kind of, I'm, I'm saying no to the index finger, and I'm all middle finger. See, I got nothing with the I'm middle finger I'm gripping with this one, ring all. finger. Oh, look at that. Ring finger, middle finger. Ring right. finger, yeah, middle no, finger. Could, how, could, could you grip that cabbage? Totally. It's not, I don't, I don't know if it's cabbage. I, oh, I, yeah, yeah, you I, just I, pull, you pull. Well, you know what, it's, I think it's a little big. You know what, let's, let's, you go let's, for it. let's see if I can get yeah. it. Whose style works better? Almost, but no cigar. I'm going back. That thing's got to be 10 pounds. Yeah. 10 I pounds of sticky rice. All right. You know what? I can like this one. All right. Oh, hold on. You get on side. It's tricky. Oh, I like that. Boom, boom, boom. Anyone can do it. When you come to a Chinese restaurant, always try to use a chopstick, unless you're really hungry. Um, it's show respect to the people that at least you're trying. Of course, you know, you can always go with the fork, but always try to use it before you ask the well, fork. I bet I can fit this all in my mouth. I bet you can't. I bet I can. $20 says you can't. $20? Oh, that's definitely not a problem for this guy. <laughs> uh, you know, is that all in my mouth? Whoa. Pay next week? Mm. What? I can't hear you. Give hundred dollars if you say yes in three seconds. One, two. Yes. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Give it to you next week too. I'll play bigger than that. As a check. Post day it for next year. Last thing on our table, I think, is the steamed rice. No, sticky rice. Steamed sticky rice. rice with lotus leaf. Yeah. Mm, lotus leaf. All right. Lotus up on this leaf. There you go. I'm gonna let you do the honors. <laughs> it looks a little intimidating for me. You so know what? I'm not afraid of this. I hope you guys are getting it. It's just like. Now, I'm doing a diaper at home, you know? All those moms at home. Some people may think that you're supposed to eat the leaf. I was one of those people. I learned that you're not supposed to. The lotus leaf have, has certain aroma into it. It's, it's, it's like a, a, a very sweet tea, actually. When we put this rice with some meat inside and then we wrap the, the lotus leaf over it, then when it's being steamed, the, the aroma of the leaves actually get into the rice. What's that guy? You got shrimp in there. Mmm. Good stuff, my friend. Another great thing about the Bright Pro is if you don't like what we've ordered, you know, there's a hundred other options. If you come here on the weekend, there's 200 dim sum items available. 200? It's, yeah. That's unbelievable. It's, yeah. You know, there's something for everyone, literally. The great thing about dim sum is basically we get to share everything. And it's kind of like, it's great for a public. Oh, sorry. Dim sum. Yeah, we're talking about dim sum. Great thing about dim sum is basically you can share everything. So it's great, you know, you bring a family here, you know, you go out with a couple of friends or whatever, and everyone's sharing, everyone's partaking in the same experience, everyone's having the same thing. It's not like you're just ordering one thing and everyone has their own little fish. Here, we're just it's all sharing about variety. Everything. Yeah, you know, you can talk about the food. A little you know, bit of this, sharing. a little bit of that. Yeah. It's, it's more great. social. It's, it's very a social. very social experience. The dishes are small. Most of the portions are pretty much bite size, you know? You're gonna to get to try a lot of things and you're not gonna get filled up on one particular thing. Uh, if you haven't tried it, it's definitely something I would highly recommend. Oh, yeah! <laughs> I think it just gave me a little shock of life here. Okay. I'm ready to eat some more. I think it's time to order some dessert. Well, wow. What are you gonna have? I'm gonna go with the green tea pudding. I'm gonna probably try the green tea ice cream. Let's do it. That was an amazing meal. I can't remember the last time we ate so much. <laughs> I can. Check this out. Don and I have been friends a number of years now. But as of late, we've been doing a lot of talking. I've been spending more and more time with him, and uh, but now he's getting this attitude that he thinks like anything I can do, he can do better. He says he can eat more than I can. I, I don't take eating lightly, okay? Today, we're gonna settle everything once and for all. Come over to my house, I'm gonna make all these chicken balls up, and we're gonna see who wins. It's game day. It's game day. Tenderize me. Alan is going down. I ain't intimidated by no one. At least of all by Tobin, okay? Let's do this! This is too easy.
was not funny. What's in your pocket, huh? What's that guy over there? A little breath freshener. What is that? Uh, Tobin's gonna be popping a ball into his mouth. Mm. Oh! Your breath was stinking. Oh! <laughs> in my face. This one might not work. This is a very hard one. <laughs> Shock therapy. <laughs> Holy crap. Go ahead, show the fans at home your tricks. <laughs> 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 Just past the quarter century mark here, and I'm feeling pretty good. I'm, I'm ready to eat some more. Mmm. 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 Why do you hate me, chicken balls? <laughs> what did I ever do to you? Nothing to lose but my life, Alan. You know, I'm missing work today because of this. I'm definitely getting a buzz off these chicken balls. Sauce. <laughs> <laughs> It doesn't look like meat. Mm. Oh. Are you catching up, Alan? Yeah. What are you at? What are you at? Mm. That one was really cold, too. This is 50 for you. I'm definitely throwing up after this chicken ball. You're done? I want a chicken ball, baby! You're done! <laughs> That's what it's all about, baby. The belt. And it's mine. <laughs> I feel better now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what I thought. <laughs> well, that just about wraps it up. Bright Burrow's been fantastic, and we've really enjoyed our experience here today. Dim Sum truly is a unique style of eating, providing a very engaging experience and just one of the many culinary gems of Asia's diverse cuisine. Whether it's Korean, Thai, Japanese, or Chinese, all offer exciting new possibilities just waiting to be discovered by you.